Once upon a time, in a make-believe land where Scotland and Rome are right next to each other, there lived two friends, Chog Norius, a barbarian, and Pompus Maximus, a Roman. As friends often do, they played together. But somewhere along the line, their playing turned to pranking. <laughs> <laughs> and their pranking escalated and got out of hand until once good friends became bitter foes. Ah! Darius, you overgrown brute! I'll get you! Ah! Pompous, you pesky little gourd! I'll get you! And so it was that the best friends never spoke again. The kingdoms were divided, and a great feud endured. <laughs> it's time once again to repay our enemies. My son, McLary, is joining us today for yet another attempt to pass his initiation test. Eighth time's a charm. Uh, ninth. Um, that's what I meant. Ninth time's a charm. Eighth time is practice. Thanks, Dad. I'm really feeling it this time. I've got this really cool new invention McLary. I think... McLary. Yeah, Dad? No inventions. Okay, sure. No inventions. Let's do this! So, so I said, I'm not standing. <laughs> I'm Roman. <laughs> <laughs> we'll chop your locks with clippers and tease them up with moose. We'll never stop our prank until the Romans call us truce. <laughs> never! Oh, man! We're barbarians, very far barbarians. Practical joke ends. Best friends is in the way. At the fury of our prank, boys! Give them bad haircuts. <laughs> Bull cut! Beehive! Patchwork! Mullet! Scarlet! Lock of seagulls! Lazy surfer! Not bad! Frosted tips! You monster! Go ahead, son. This one's yours! Give him a bad haircut, and you'll have earned your place among us! Come on, McLarry. You can do this. <laughs> McLarry, what did you do? Sorry, McBob. <laughs> Jog! <laughs> no! I'm sorry, McLarry. <sighs> sorry, Dad. I tripped. It's okay, son. Tenth time's a charm. Barbarians, let's go home! Come on, McLary. Let's get back to the village. I failed again, McBob. Maybe you need to practice a little more? It won't help. I'm the worst barbarian ever. Not worse, just different. Exactly. I can't do anything the rest of you guys can do. I just don't fit in. Just because you're different doesn't mean you're any less important. What about all that stuff you make? Your inventions. Those are pretty cool. Well, sure. I love inventing. But I don't think inventions matter much around here. Another victorious raid, Barbarians! Victory! Prepare for the Chog Toss. Ready, Chog! Let's do this! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were ready. What? Huh? <laughs> oh, counter attack! <laughs> ah! Quick, just get to our side. <laughs> he got me. <laughs> Ah! 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 Me 
me downstream with styling gel. <laughs> Lucky escape, son of Chog. Worst of the barbarians. <laughs> they cannot cross the gorge. They are too puny. We shall return with an even greater gag. Ha! They've returned. All hail Chog Norius, greatest of the barbarians. Did you break them good, Mr. Norius? Aye, that we did, lad. Awesome. Chug Norius, Chug Norius, his exploits ever glorious. Chug Norius, Chug Norius, returns again victorious. Who bests the Romans with his might, whose strike cannot be matched. Who brought victory on this night and claimed the biggest land. Chug Norius! Who's the big bad wolf afraid of? Chug Norius! Dreams of clever pranks to drive and fools them brilliantly. Who lives we are barbarians for all the world to see. this happen if they cannot cross the gorge? Elmail. They have employed the silly goose. I can't believe it. We've been goosed. <laughs> to the long haul, we will plot our revenge over juice and macaroni. Macaroni! <laughs> Not you, McLary. You've got homework to do. You need practice. Good lad. Oh, come on. You don't have to sing my theme song every time. Save me some juice. Hey, McAlary. Strike out again? Yep. Well, maybe you could hang out with us. Can you read to us from one of those? What do you call them? Books? Yeah, that's it. Books. Sorry, kids. I got homework. Aw, please. Come on, McAlary. Oh. Okay. The Book of Archimedes. He's a really great inventor. He's one of my heroes. Like Chog? I guess so, but different. I'd really love to meet him one day. Here, look at this. It's called a lever. You put something heavy on one end, and you can move it up and down really easy. Uh, why would I want to do that? Well, because it could be really useful. For a prank? Well, no. Oh, here's a good one. What is it? Watch this. What good is that? How do we prank the Romans with it? We don't. It's not for pranking. It's just interesting. I'm thinking of calling it a flying bridge or a Norius cradle. Maybe you could attach giant pies to it and it would swing and slap the Romans right in the face. <laughs> no, it's not for that. They could hit and explode and shave and cream and go everywhere. No, 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 that's not what it's McLary, for. McLary, what do you think you're doing? Chug Norius, Chug Norius. For the love of my kill, stop singing. <laughs> I told you to practice, and you're out here playing with toys. Sorry, Dad, I was just... Spending your time with worthless contraptions when we need your help on the front lines? But, Dad... You're my son, and we have a heritage to uphold. Why do things any differently? What good is this? Can shiny metal best your foe? Can this give an awful haircut? Can... Eh, whatever this is, win the feud with the Romans? No! Only a truly unbeatable prank will win it. That's why we're going after the cheese of Attila. The cheese of Attila? Rumored to be so stinky, so foul. It's wrapped in rotten eggs and lutefisk, just to shield the stench. The cheese of Attila? Filled within Mount Limburger to protect the world from its all-consuming, deep, penetrating odor? This is a private conversation. Would you excuse us, please? <laughs> Once we roll Attila's stinky cheese into Rome, the Romans will have no choice but to bow to our superior pranksmanship. But won't It's that... already decided. Why can't I be more like them? Alone in a village of many Trying my best to fit in 
Barber skills? Well, I haven't got any. The worst barbarian. I cannot be like them. I try, but I choke. Impractically lame with a practical joke. I give it my all plus a hundred percent. But nobody cares about a boy who invents. Alone in a village of many. Trying my best to fit in. The worst barber bear. I blame myself, son. You're not a great barbarian because I haven't pushed you hard enough. I haven't worked you until you were too tired to form new thoughts or properly swallow your food. Uh, to win this feud with the Romans, we'll need you to pass that test. Uh, sure, Dad. You can count on me. Good. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> and use one of your foolish contraptions. It's just that I wasn't... I, it was a miscalculation. Oh, I destroyed it. I can help. I can rebuild it. You've done quite enough already, boy. This is no time for inventions and no place for an inventor. McDustin, grab me some timbers. McLeslie, fetch me some pitch. Okay, Archimedes. Maybe I could be your apprentice. Maybe we could build stuff. He currently resides in Greece. Hmm. Greece. <laughs> <laughs> 